I'm Seb Powell. Uh, me and my partner Freya farm here at Lower Withercombe. We call ourselves Hill and Coombe Dairy, which um, involves us basically milking 15 dairy cows once a day on a 100% pasture fed diet. We direct sell raw milk, which we deliver on a small milk ground locally. Freya makes yogurts once a week, which we pot and flavour. We also sell beef as a sort of offshoot of the dairy, which is 100% pasture fed and we farm organically. We sell in a really sort of close circumference to the customers as well. So most of them generally follow us a little bit on Facebook or know what's going on or they've been to the farm. So they know that we're farming in a sort of wildlife sensitive, high animal welfare, unintensive manner. Um, and having the trees here really fits in with that as well. It's just another tag on to being a sustainable farm, I suppose. The trees symbolize something for me that is a, it's something really important in the future and it might be us who will reap the rewards in 10 or 15 years time or it might be the next tenant or share farmer or you know custodian of this land. For the silver pasture trial here at Lower Withercombe we've chosen a 10 acre field and it's quite a steep um, um, exposed field that otherwise wouldn't yield much grass really um, it wouldn't be sort of much use in summer when it's really hot because it burns off and in winter is almost too exposed for livestock so having trees in this field I think can add the maximum benefit basically we divided the number of trees with the clusters basically of 10 I think 10 trees each surrounded by shrubs um, to get the total number so I think there's 42 clusters in this field we did obviously take into account, oh, like this is wetter, so maybe we put more willow into some of the gullies. Um, we're a bit cautious about planting on the very brow of the hill because we knew it would be really thin soils. So looking to the future for this field, um, my goal is really like, A, that we're going to be here to see it come to fruition, but in 15 years um, to be able to milk our main herd um, in this field. It's only 15 cows, so it's going to be very easy in theory to go in, you know, electric fence through between the trees um, and benefit from the shade in the summer and, and the shelter in the winter. It's also located, you know, really close to the farm. So it actually goes back to one of our planning points is that we thought, you know, do we pick the furthest away field that we're never going to be able to really go to or it's going to be harder to get to. We actually picked one that was really close and that's going to potentially give us more reward really in future and, you know, hopefully be like one of our most productive fields in theory. Because we're at the beginning of a trial and we've sort of gone into it with sort of, in some ways, whimsical sort of like, yeah, I think this is going to be good. I do believe in it, but we don't have the research yet to back it up. So it's having the confidence to just be like, yeah, just sit and watch this. There's nothing to be lost in theory and everything to be gained.